Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Valladares and today I want to show you this new design in crochet. This is inspired in the braided cowl that is very popular in my channel. If you want to watch the video, I will put the link in the description box. But this is a new design. It's a braided scarf with a hood that is very very elegant but the most important thing this is very easy even the beginners in crochet can make this can you believe it it's beautiful and very easy if you prefer the grinding instructions you can follow the website www.nataliespat.etsy.com I will appreciate all your support to my handmade work. Thank you, thank you so much. On the other hand, I'm doing a survey here on my YouTube channel. And the question is, will you like if I make new videos about healthy life, remedies and beauty tips based on natural ingredients? Most of us have a goal to be healthier in this new year. And I think if we do that together, it will be a whole easier reach. So go to the section that is called community and answer the, the survey so I can know if you like or not this type of video in my YouTube channel. The materials for this project will be in the description box of this video. Crochet hook 5 mm, Words Way Yarn number 4, about 400 grams or 700 yards. This is the tag of the yarn that I'm using. Okay, let's start with 25 chains. It will be the base. Okay, here are the 25 chains. Insert the hook in the four in the fourth chain from hook. One, two, three, and four. Insert the hook over there and work a double crochet. And continue working a double crochet in each chain across all the way to the end. You're gonna have 23 double crochet in total. Okay, continue working. Remember the beginning chains count as one double crochet too. Okay, here I just finished the 23 double crochet. For the next row, you're gonna work the same thing. Chain two, turn your work and work a back loop only double crochet. Insert your hook over there, just in the back loop, and work the double crochet. Okay, you have to work back loop only double crochet in each stitch all the way across to the end. This is the slow motion. You can see better how to make this. Okay, continue working. All the way across to the end okay 23 double crochet okay the next row is the row number three you're gonna repeat that row number three and then number four so put attention chain two turn your work work another back loop only double crochet it makes two stitches 
are two double crochet one and two now work a loop of 13 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay insert your hook on the top of your last double crochet and work slip stitch just like this then work it gonna looks like this okay now work eight double crochet back loop only two three four five six seven and eight you gonna look just like this then work another loop of 13 chains in order to make another loop and so you hook on the top of your last double crochet and work a slip stitch just like this okay after that work another eight double crochet back loop only three four five six seven and eight okay just like this then work another loop of 13 chains this is your last loop in this row slip stitch on top of your last stitch Okay, just like this. Then work five double crochet back loop only. This is two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're gonna look just like this three loops three beautiful loops just like this okay the pattern is two double crochet one loop eight double crochet one loop eight double crochet one loop and five double crochet remember that double crochet is gonna be back loop only always okay for the next row the row number four chain two tarry work and work five double crochet i have two three four and five remember double crochet back loop only beginning chains count as one double crochet then you're gonna work 20 double crochet inside the loop one, two, three, four, twenty, twenty double crochet. Then you're gonna take your first double crochet from the loop and the last double crochet from the loop. So you hook and draw or work a chain this is your first braided loop so beautiful then we're gonna work just follow the pattern eight back loop only double crochet one two three 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now work another loop, braided loop. Insert your hook into the loop and work 20 double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, twenty. I just finish my 20. I take my first and last loop, uh, stitch from the loop and work a slip stitch. Okay? Work another eight double crochet back loop only. Just follow the pattern. Be careful don't lost any stitch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight double crochet, muscle only. Then again, twenty double crochet into the loop. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, twenty. And so you're hooking your last and first stitch from loop and work a slip stitch. Okay, this is your three loops. You're gonna be behind the work. Then work your last two double crochet. One and two. Okay, this is your fourth row completed. Then you're gonna repeat the row number three and row number four. Chain two, turn your work. Just like that number three row is the same thing. Work the loop of 13 chains. And so you hook on the top of your last stitch. And this is your first loop. loop. Okay, continue working eight double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Work another loop of 13 chains, just like this, and work another eight double crochet back loop only after your second loop. Remember, you are repeating the row number three. After the eight Double crochet, work another loop of 13 chains. And then work your last five double crochet. Back loop only. Okay. It's going to look just like this. Then work your next row and you're going to repeat that row number four. Chain two, turn your work and work five double crochet 
I have two, three, four, and five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. So I have to fill all the loops with 20 double crochet. One, two, three, four, twenty, You want to make your braided loop with a slip stitch or a chain. What, what's next? The eight double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> then Work 20 double crochet into the loop, into the second loop, okay, in order to make the other braided loop. Here, here are the 20 and slip stitch. Work another eight double crochet, back loop only. Two, continue working to get the eight double crochet, back loop only. Then work your last loop of this row. 20 double crochet into the loop. Okay, after your 20, insert the hook in the last and the first stitch front loop and a slip stitch. Okay, then work your last two double crochet. So this is, you have to keep repeating the row number three and the row number four, all the way across to the end of the length of the scarf. From the beginning to the end, you will not work 52 rows in total, okay? Now I want to teach you how to interweave the loops. Take your second loop, insert through the first loop, and here, here we go. Then take your next loop and do the same. Take your next loop, pass it through the previous loop and there we go repeat the steps to complete the braid and repeat the steps to make the another two braids so you're gonna have three beautiful braids okay I just finished the three braids look this beautiful braids i love it they are so beautiful then you're going to sew three buttons here the loops will be the eyelets for the buttons now we're gonna work the hood for the hood you have to work 35 chains insert your hook in the fourth chain from hook and work a double crochet in each chain across to the end you're gonna have 33 stitches in total 
Remember, beginning chains count as one double crochet. For the next row, work chain two, turn, turn the work, and work one double crochet in each double crochet from previous row. Work the double crochet back loop only. Each double crochet is gonna be back loop only. Okay, after you complete the second row, for the next row, you're gonna work chain two. It, this row is gonna be the row you're gonna repeat because you wanna repeat the row number three and the row number four. So work two, three, and four, double crochet, back loop only. Then work the loop of 13 chains Insert your hook in the top of the last stitch, just like this, and a slip stitch. Okay, this is your loop. This row only gonna have one loop. Continue working that double crochet back loop only, all the way across to the end. They are like about 29. But in total, you're going to have 23 double crochet plus the loop. So keep working your stitches just like this. Okay, you're gonna work the next row, chain two, turn the work, and work 28 double crochet plus the beginning chains, that will be 29 double crochet back loop only. Work all the way across to the loop. When you reach the loop, you're gonna start working the loop. So 29 stitches, then work the loop, insert the hook into the loop and work 20 double crochet. Okay, 20 20 double crochet into the loop in order to make the braided the braided loop sorry my English is not perfect but I'm trying to do my best okay after 20 double crochet take your last and your first double crochet and make a chain or draw a chain then work your last four double crochet one two three and four four back loop double crochet Okay, in total, you're gonna have 23 double crochet back loop only. Remember, the beginning chains count as one stitch two. Okay, so keep repeating this row number three and row number four. So chain two, four double crochet, this is the third, 
and four. One, two, three, four. Thirteen chains for the loop. Insert the hook on the top of your last stitch and make the loop. Okay, then work 29 double crochet, back loop only, all the way to the end. Okay, you are completed your fifth row. Then, for your next row, and it's gonna be just like the row number four. Chain two, turn the work and work twenty nine double crochet, back loop only. All the way across to reach the loop keep working just like this okay after the 29 double crochet work the loop insert the hook and work 20 double crochet into the loop two three four, five, six, seven, and twenty. Okay, take your last and first stitch from the loop and work a slip stitch. Okay, Work your last four double crochet one, two, three, and four. Four back loop only double crochet. Okay, keep repeating the row number three and the row number four all the way across until you get. 36 rows in total okay i made 36 rows but if you want a higher hood you can make 38 rows if you want to it's up to you okay so we're gonna interwave the loops take your loop and pass it through the first and repeat the steps all the way across to finish your braid. Just like we learned in the scarf. Okay, keep repeating the steps. Okay, after you finish interwaving the loops, you're gonna fold the loops because you will sew the back of the hood. So take your trapezoid needle and yarn, flip the hood because you wanna sew the stitches in the ground side of course fold it just like this and you're gonna sew you're gonna sew the part the back of the hood so take your trapezoid needle I'm making a knot to secure the work. 
cut the excess and with a trapezoid needle on yarn just start working start sewing the hood Okay, if you flip the hood, here you go. This is the beautiful hood. I love it, it's so beautiful. I wanna leave some yarn because we are going to join the two pieces, the scarf with the hood. So keep in mind that. Okay, before joining the two pieces together, you're gonna install the buttons for the scarf. I bought these three buttons. They are large buttons, they are beautiful. And you're gonna put these buttons in the side. Remember the loops are gonna be the highlights. Or the whole buttons, I don't know the name. Um now you're gonna need the needle and thread matching thread of course and just figure out where your buttons are gonna be. So I'm gonna put my buttons in the second loop of the braid. So I'm gonna sew this with the needle and thread. Repeat the steps for the other two buttons. Okay, here you go. They are the three buttons. And that's it. I love this scarf. Okay. I want to show you one tip. You think if you think your buttonhole is too big for your buttons, you can make some stitches with a needle and thread. And you're going to make the loop or the buttonhole smaller. Perfect size for your button this is optional you don't have to make it if you don't want to but I think this is more secure for the button okay just cut the thread and there you go there you go so repeat the steps for the other two buttonhole and there you go we are finished the the scarf okay you have to place the hood in the edge of the scarf that has two double crochet okay this is the other edge but this has five double crochet so we need the two double crochet edge in this side next to the hood so you're gonna take your scarf and fold it like this this is the buttons facing to the right and take the hood and put the hood over here so you can figure out where 
you're gonna sew the stitches so you can use some marker stitches over here because you're gonna flip the pieces in the wrong side in order to sew this Okay, flip the hood in the wrong side. Okay, you're gonna start in this part of the braid. It doesn't have the buttonhole. The buttonhole is in the other side. So we have to begin sewing in this part. Okay, so take your yarn and trapeze to needle and start sewing the two pieces together okay remove the stitch marker and take your trapeze needle and yarn and start sewing remember this is the edge of the scarf that has only two double crochet why because you want the braids looks very very close to the hood that's why we are doing that so continue sewing the pieces all the way across to the end but before you reach the other side of the braid you have to stop because i want to show you something Okay, continue sewing this hood until you reach this part over here. You're gonna stop over here because you have to take this loop together with the pieces. So we're gonna sew the three layers together. So continue working, continue sewing the hood okay we are here at this point you have to take the loop of the braid like this so take the hood the braid and the scarf the three layers and sew it together so continue sewing like this You can remove this stitch marker I continue sewing the three layers together okay just like this
to the end of the hood. Okay. Make a knot. And fast enough on way the ends. Okay, flip the piece and voila! There you go. This is the beautiful hooded scarf. Beautiful braided hooded scarf I love it I love the buttons I love the hood I love the braids of course I love everything okay I want to tell you another tip if you not like this tip in the hood you can sew some stitches making a straight line like this some stitches with that trapezoid needle on yarn and when you flip the hood, the tip is no longer over, it, over there. So this is optional. If you don't like it, you can do it, but it's totally optional. I think you're going to like this tip, just like me. Hope you like this tutorial. I enjoy it very very much because the result is just amazing hope you like this video please give me a thumb up leave your comments subscribe to my channel share with your friends share in your social media I will appreciate it so much thank you God bless you